Well, it's been a while since I've been in behind a microphone in front of a crowd. Did you say so, is this is this thing on? Ah, it's on now. Your voice carries in, but you not Yeah, I, I I try to project. Yeah, it's been quite a while since I've been up here, and last time it was in the other side. I was away doing cranberry harvest in the fall, and other things happen in the winter, but. Here I am. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here I am. Yeah. I was thinking I, first time up, I started off with a, what I call a George and a Ralph joke. So I thought I'd do a tell about George and Ralph and their exploits. There are a couple of bumbling uh, dudes that always seem to get Ralph in trouble. So the. I first heard about George and Ralph stories when I was 12 or 13. And I read this story and I thought it was really funny and I tell people and then they look at me kind of blank faced and I think that's funny and that's why I tell it. But the story is uh, George and Ralph were working in a church fixing a stained glass window. George was up on the ladder putting the lead in the window and Ralph was heating up the pieces. And while they were working on this window, there's Mrs. Smith was in the church lighting candles and doing her spiritual devotional things. And she overheard their conversation and she was offended. <sighs> of all things to hear in church, she was just, it just took her out of her spiritual moment. She went to see the pastor and said, Pastor, go talk to those men. I'm just upset. I'm going home. So the pastor comes over and says, Gentlemen, uh, Mrs. Smith was upset. What happened? Uh, so Ralph speaks up and says, Well, me and George was here fixing this window. I was heating up the lead. He was up on the ladder putting it in the spot. And I heated up a piece and I passed it up to him and he dropped it down my neck. And I says, Why, well, George, you should be more careful. <laughs> hmm, that's more laughs than I usually get for that one. Yeah. <laughs> It's a subtle joke. It comes in there. Yeah. Can't grab you after I thought, what other exploits did George and Ralph get into? They like to go camping. And that one down there out at campgrounds and sitting around a fire and drinking coffee and chit-chatting and talking about their wives back home. And after sitting around there, uh, Ralph says, hey, George, pass me a cup of coffee. And so he Passed him the coffee, and he said, this coffee's cold. He said, yeah, the fire went out. And he said, when? And he said, Tuesday. <laughs> they weren't quite aware. But after drinking all that coffee, Ralph had to go uh, answer nature's call, so he runs off into the weeds, and lo and behold, a rattlesnake jumps up and bites him. He's kind of screaming and said, George, go find a... Oops, excuse me. <laughs> 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 that wasn't part of the joke. These oh. <laughs> timing, but I just realized. Oh my. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> George goes running off other campgrounds and campsites and looking for a doctor. I said, Doctor, my friend got bit by a rattlesnake. What should I do? And he says, Well, just make two little X's and suck the poison out. And they said, Well, what if I don't do that? And he said, Well, he's going to die. So he comes running back, and Ralph says, what did the doctor say? He says, you're going to die. <laughs> I came up with an alternate ending to that joke okay. from the wild side. Ralph, or George comes running back, and Ralph says, what did the doctor say? And he said, just sit back. I'll George take care of you. <laughs> so, anyway, all is well, end well, and... They got back and one day they, well, they were best buddies, so they were best men in each other's wedding. George married Betty and Ralph married Sue and they did all kinds of stuff together. So they were at this church and they were celebrating their 25th anniversary, George, Ralph and Sue. And uh, suddenly the, the devil showed up. Everybody screamed and ran out of the church, and was and Ralph just kind of sat there. 
And the devil said, aren't you afraid of me? I said, no. Why not? I've been married to your sister for 25 years. <laughs> but anyway, after that, all cleared up, and the devil got disappointed and left. The, the pastor was talking on it and says, i got to tell you some stuff about the marriage. And Now, this is not church teaching. This is fact. I kind of wonder what kind of church that was. <laughs> anyway, they had a good old time, but after the Sunday services, they went out and had a few beers, and they were all sitting around drinking their beers, and Sue says, I love you, I love you, I love you. And Ralph says, that you talking or the beer talking? She says, that's me talking to the beer. <laughs> but they had a good old time and lots of stuff happened. And then things happened to their pastor too. And one day the pastor was out doing his, uh, doing some stuff in the yard and his kitten climbed up in a tree. I said, hmm, that tree's too skinny to climb up and the kitten's stuck, and what do I do? So I know. I get a rope, I'll tie on a tree, bend it down slightly so I don't break the tree, then I can reach the kitten and get it out. But as he's pulling this tree down, get lower and lower, and he's almost got to the kitten, and the rope breaks. And, uh, well, the kitten got out of the tree, but <laughs> went somewhere, and the pastor never found it, and he was really sad that he lost his kitten and sometime later, he was, a few days later, he was uh, going around visiting people in the parish. And he stopped by this lady's house, and they had a kitten. And he thought, hmm, that kitten looks familiar, but I don't want to say that's my kitten. Give me my cat back, because, you know, a lot of cats look alike. And the pastor said, I, well, I see you got a kitten. That's a cute little thing. And the lady said, you know, this is an amazing thing. My daughter kept asking me and asking me and asking me for a kitten. And I said, no, you're not getting a kitten. And then one day I just said, all right, honey, just ask Jesus for a kitten. And if he gives you one, okay. And so the little girl got down and said, Jesus, I would really like a kitten. And bam, she got hit in the head with a kitten. <laughs> and so the lady was telling the pastor, said, you're not going to believe this story about how we got that kitten. <laughs> so <laughs> she told him. And, Good story. Uh, George and Ralph had a son, and this was a character. And he said, when they said they liked to go over to the neighbor's house and jump on Tramp Arlene, that was their daughter's name, Arlene. <laughs> I stole that joke from somebody. I heard it and thought it was funny. <laughs> and he's, he said for his 16th birthday, his uh, parents wanted to surprise him with a car, <laughs> but he saw it coming, ducked out of the way. <laughs> they were a crazy family, and I got more Ralph and George stories coming up. And so I was often thinking sometimes you go to a performance and people. Toss these on the stage. <laughs> Don't ask me where I found this. But if you go to the right place, you'll get these. <laughs> Over the wrong place or the other place? In case you can't tell, this is the guy's thong. <laughs> oh, where that on my shoulder? I think you got it mixed up. Well, <laughs> don't ask me where I got this one. Anyway. One last joke. You hear about the gay comedian? Either way, he's funny. Thank you very much.